Hello everyone, we're gonna do story time outside today. It's California burr, <laughs> but look at the lemons behind me. Today's chapter two, you deserve to thrive. In Western culture, sickness has traditionally been defined as physical, medical, or more recently, mental. Western psychology and psychiatry have progressed quite a bit over the years and no longer are regularly doing frontal lobotomies or hysterectomies on unhappy women. Now, antidepressants are prescribed at an incredible rate. According to the NIH, the number of antidepressants prescribed per year has increased by 300% in the last 20 years. People are more and more unhappy and desperate to no longer feel that way. Unfortunately, antidepressants don't really work to fix the problem, they just dull your feelings. Did you know that for an antidepressant drug to be deemed effective, it only needs to work 50% of the time for 50% of the people it's prescribed to? Yikes. Many people think the withdrawal symptoms from stopping the antidepressants that don't actually work, there's research on that, are their depressive symptoms, and they go back on the medication that numbs them out and sets them up for long-term issues. There must be another way. Believe me, there is. However, conventional medicine has not reached the point where it is embracing the research supporting alternative medical therapies and the mind-body connection. It takes, on average, 17 years, 17 years, for clinical research to impact conventional medicine. I don't know about you, but I don't want to wait for them to catch up. I built this program so you are educated in a holistic, practical, natural, functional, and logical way. You will know your body better and will be able to advocate for yourself and your loved ones. The word doctor is from the Latin word docere, to teach. Are you ready to learn? We are all energy, and our thoughts and emotions impact our physical, mental, and emotional states. Why? Well, as I answered my son Kieran when he was three and repetitively asked until I couldn't give another logical reason, why, why, why mama, why, why? Well, when you really get down to it, the answer is always quantum physics, baby, quantum physics. Indigenous shamanic medicine, Ayurveda and acupuncture have effectively used holistic models of diagnosing and treating disease, sickness and imbalances for over 5,000 years. I love acupuncture because every time they've studied it with the Western mind, it proves effective. With thousands of years of experience and success, they take into account how toxicity, spiritual pollution, emotional stress, interpersonal interactions, toxic behaviors, and other factors strongly impact the human body, psyche, and overall sense of well-being. These environmental factors may then manifest themselves in actual physical illness or impaired physical performance. You may seem perfectly healthy according to conventional care and the ridiculously shallow testing they genu genu generally run. I can't even talk about it, it's so asinine. These basic lab tests will likely come out normal and your provider will likely explain it all away with, you're just getting older or it's all in your head and probably prescribe an antidepressant. I disrespectfully disagree. I believe you deserve to experience vibrant health. It is a basic human right to thrive. The United States is ranked last compared to other affluent countries in access to care, administrative efficiency, equality, and outcomes in medicine, despite having the most expensive medical system. It is also the only for-profit medical system in the first world. The conclusion I draw from that is you must take responsibility for and control of your own health and health care. Empower yourself through education. No one else will do it for you. It is absolutely your choice. If you don't take responsibility and make changes that impact your health in positive ways, there's a whole healthcare system waiting for you with drugs and surgery. And after all, that's what it does best. As my evil twin, Dr. Jessica DeCampley says, you deserve to thrive, not just survive. So ask yourself, how do I feel? Then, do I feel as well as I want to? There's nothing wrong with asking this question. 
It's okay to want more vitality than you have. Pretending that everything is fine only ensures that your experience stays the same or gets worse.